All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hi, this is a video of Bladebridge Informatica Power Center 2 Informatica Cloud or IICS converter. It's a command line utility available to be executed on Linux or Windows. Um, to execute the utility, the command line is BB PC2 IICS. When you execute any of any of Bladebridge's utilities without any command line arguments, it provides help, and the help is also available on our partner portal. Um, the utility is expecting several mandatory arguments, such as a license key file, an input power center XML, or a folder with uh, with XML files and potentially subfolders, the output folder where IICS files will land, and um, and configuration file that tells the converter about certain preferences uh, on how the conversion should uh, take place. There are several other arguments that are not required, uh, but sometimes they're being used for debugging purposes and, and some other reasons. Uh, there's also minus p persistent GUID file. The reason why this is a mandatory option is because Informatica uh, Cloud requires that we maintain internal IDs, which are GUID IDs, and every time we re regenerate the same job, we want to make sure that we're regenerating the same ID for, for each job and, and every element within the job. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do in this demo is run the converter on a sample Informatica Power Center file, and the job that I'm gonna convert, the mapping that I'm gonna convert is right here. So it has several unconnected lookups, source target, connected lookups, expressions, filters, uh, routers. It actually has references to maplets as well. Uh, there's a sorter, there's a joiner, and there's a, there's a union as well. So there are a couple of unions, also update strategy. So this is a pretty complicated mapping with uh, lots of lo logic and lots of connectors. Um, and what our connector will do, it will, um, our, our converter will do is it will traverse the source metadata, make it normalized and then convert it into Informatica uh, cloud representation and will produce a zip file that will be importable into Informatica cloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the converter. Uh, I do have a command line ready. So the way the command line uh, works is, is that I just list out all the arguments that uh, I want to provide the the name of the executable, the config file name, name of the input folder, the input file or other output folder, uh, the license keys, um, persistent file, and the mapping that I want to convert. Uh, the output will go into this folder, which is currently empty, and this is my root folder going to go ahead and run the command. It takes just a few seconds to run. Info QPC. So the, the converter by default will produce all the output to the console. Typically during a real life conversion, we want to redirect the output to a log file in case we later on need to mine it. But uh, the log file by default is rather short and um, can be easily viewed uh, in a regular editor. So I have my zip file available. I'm gonna go into Informatica Cloud, click on the import and drag my file that I just produced into it. Um, IICS lists all the artifacts that are about to be imported. So the converter picked up maplet dependencies in, uh, and it converted the maplets as well. I can import those maplets or I can leave them out uh, for the demo purposes. I'll import them as well. And the demo mapping that I just converted. So I'm gonna click on import.
and the converter just imported, sorry, the uh, ICS plasma just imported all the files, uh, all the uh, artifacts successfully. I'm going to go into the Explorer, and this is my mapping. So by default, the converter will mark mapping as invalid. And the reason for that is because you want to you wanna see what you just imported. There is no way to tell IICS at, at the current time that you want to automatically validate the mapping. So that's why it's safer to, to mark the mapping as invalid. So I'm going to open up the, um, the, the, the job. And there are a couple of things that I need to do here. One is I, I want to uh, arrange the icons, uh, and I'll let Informatica do that. So these are our unconnected lookups. These are all of our transformations, the, the filters, the, um, the routers. So the, the way Informatica Cloud connects routers, joiners, um, and unions, since those are multi-group components, the converter will have to uh, figure out what column belongs to what group, which it does. And th that's what allows the converter to correctly associate, it, associate in input and output links uh, between each component. Another thing that I need to do uh, manually is to click on every maplet that's uh, referenced in a, uh, in a job and just click on the maplet tab here and click on synchronize. So that's one thing that um, IICS won't do on the import is validate the maplets. And once we do that, we can just click on save. At this point, IICS will revalidate the, the entire mapping and it should mark the mapping as, uh, as valid and ready for execution. So the status got changed to valid. And if I open up any of the transforms, any of the expressions, we'll see the expressions as they are translated from Informatica Power Center to Informatica Cloud. Typically, the expressions do not require translations except for some of the Power Center built-in variables. And for those, we do provide a configuration file where, where a user can specify how exactly the translations should take place. So for example, we can tell in the expression substitution section of the, of the config file that PM session uh, name, for example, will get converted to a mapping variable session name and, and so on. Uh, in the config file, you can also specify some of the attributes of the job, such as project name, um, the organization name, uh, how you want to uh, convert your connection. So for example, if you are migrating from an on-prem database such as DB2 or Oracle to let's say Snowflake or Redshift, you can tell the converter how each connection will be translated and you can provide additional configurations. Um, if, if that is going to be the case, the converter will actually kick off internally another SQL conversion module, module. So every time it encounters a, a component that's connected to a database such as source or perhaps pre and post SQL, Converter will penetrate that SQL and convert that to the target database's syntax if needed. Uh, that concludes the demo session. So just to recap, um, the converter just converted the traditional power center mapping into IICS mapping and replicated all the logic, all the connections. And um, with just a few clicks, the job is ready to run. Thank you.